The era of small cells is rapidly approaching, but to ensure these small cells perform at an optimum level and meet all stringent service provider requirements, it's critical that we deliver the most accurate synchronization. To do this, we need to bring the timing source as close to the small cell as possible, especially when we consider the timing range we need to hit is below 1.5 microseconds. But how can we do this while balancing timing accuracy and cost? There are two approaches. Firstly, we can position the GNSS antennas on rooftops. However, this means placing the Grandmaster clocks in indoor communication rooms, and these are often located on the lower floors of multi-storey buildings. So, this would require a long connecting cable. Overall, this can be an expensive package, however, this solution is good for small cells that need to be deployed in very large numbers. Secondly, we could use an indoor or outdoor Grandmaster clock with an integrated GNSS antenna. This is a good alternative to placing the GNSS antenna on the roof, especially if you're trying to reduce costs and if you're connecting to a smaller number of small cells. Of course, the outdoor unit can also be used on a rooftop or any other suitable outdoor location, including urban canyons that are almost mandatory for outdoor small cells. Ultimately, there's no right or wrong approach here, but it's important to understand how each method impacts the overall synchronization cost per small cell.